Hello, last time we left off, we had posed this question on the sundown. We talked about the U, V, 2, 12, 15, and 18. And we asked, how come the dual 2 with less BL is more sensitive and louder by half a dB to about 0.7 dB, depending upon which sub you're looking at, than the dual 4? Because the dual 4 has more BL. And the dual four also had lighter cones, or I should say soft parts um, mass. And typically, now, now also the FS is very similar in these. Now typically what you'd see, so here's the UV one. We're going to look at the 10 real quick. And you'll notice the 10, look at the FS here, 48.5, 41.4. Um, that's... Whenever your FS is lower, you're going to have less sensitivity in general. Uh, like if you take the same sub and you just glued some weights on it, you're going to lose sensitivity. You're going to lower the FS, you're going to lose sensitivity. So in this particular case, it kind of makes sense why you've got a difference in uh, sensitivity right here. But it didn't really make sense with the 15. So... That leads me to this. Let me see if I can make this bigger. Okay. This is the, the formula to calculate motor strength. BL squared divided by RE. So whenever you're comparing between subs, you can always do this BL squared divided by RE. And then, uh, of course, remember Jacob's formula also had the uh, divided by moving mass. To, to fit, kind of give up a, a, a good ratio on, on maybe which sub might be louder. So the UV215, now these, I will say they have the exact same motors. You can get recone kits from the, if you had the dual four, you can get a recone kit and drop in a dual two recone kit or vice versa. They have, they're, they're literally the same sub with just a different, uh, essentially soft part kit in there. So the dual two actually ends up to be 187.55 in motor strength. The dual four is 160.123. So the 187 is stronger. And basically that's what that's telling you is that the, that's the amount of um, strength that's actually, that's the basically efficiency of the voice coil in the gap with the motor strength um, kind of enforcing upon it. Now, if you were do the same thing we did before, you wired this dual two um, in parallel to one ohm versus series to four ohm, you are going to get that extra half dB boost. Same thing with the dual four here, but the dual two in this case is louder, and you might be scratching your head wondering why. Well, once again, when I talk about you know companies that that do research and that build their subs and do a good job building their subs. This is one of the things I, I kind of mentioned, bring up the dual two voice coil fits better in the gap, right? It, it's just it probably takes up a little bit more room and it fits better than the dual four. The dual four is probably a little bit looser in there because the windings are, are smaller. So the dual two, kind of soaks up a little bit more of the magnet strength in this particular instance. So one way to compare against subs is you can use this motor strength calculator. And if this dual four was 187.55, then with the increase in BL, you'd probably be, um, you'd probably be louder. And also notice this. So the, the BL is 26.79 on the dual two. The dual four is 31.1, we'll round up to five. That's not that much of a difference when you're thinking of going from two ohms to four ohms. I mean, this should be a much bigger jump. Uh, also, you'll notice too, this they're not exactly four ohms. This is a little bit less than four ohms. This is definitely less than um, eight ohms. So the dual two wired in series is only 3.8. So each one would be like 1.9. If you're measuring it with your meter, uh, the dual four, you're going to look at about uh, 3.0 each one. So you do have to actually get, you can't just type in uh, two ohms here for the, let me go back and show you real quick. Okay. 
So this is the, the U10, but it will tell you right here, REOM, so 3.8 and 6.1. So it will tell you exactly what you need for that formula. Uh, and they just call it a dual four because they they know that uh, you're going to have a lot of rise. And so they're not they're not worried about it. Anyways, guys, I hope this really helps. Hope this has been interesting. Um, I can't wait to get into some other stuff, amplifier stuff, box stuff kind of been floating on subs getting a lot of questions about subs um there's still a ton of stuff i want to cover that uh i haven't gotten around to but i want to get this this quick video out there and i uh, hope you guys are having a great week hope you guys have something awesome to look forward to for this weekend and um if you guys know of any free video editing software that's uh oh not fully robust, not quite light, something in between. Let me know. I do have some videos that I've been waiting to finish that I'm waiting on that software. Um, I've got a video interview or an audio interview with um, someone who's basically probably, probably the loudest or one of the loudest daily music drivers in the world. Um, and I'd like to splice some of the videos I have of his vehicle and pictures of his vehicle when I do that video. And then I've got to get the uh, how to measure your um, rise. I got to get that video done. I need, once again, an editor for that. You saw the, the, the video I did where we measured the series versus parallel and everything was it's it's mirrored backwards. The software I had was supposed to correct that. It, it didn't. So I was kind of disappointing, but I did want to get that video out. And um, so with that being said, I will let you guys go. Appreciate you. Thank you, guys. And cheers.